In this video clip, we'll actually look at how to do an implicit plot on the Inspire, even though it really doesn't have that feature within the plot menu. But what we're going to do is we're going to exploit um, a command for finding zeros, which is um, something we can then import into the graphing window. So for example, suppose this is the equation I want to do an implicit plot of. Uh, what we really are trying to do is we're trying to say, all right, if, for example, I could say solve, grab this equation for y, and I could even say such that x equal, say, 1. Okay, and that gives me a y equals 1. I could do it again. I could say such that this is, say, 0.5. Okay, and here I get two solutions. So what I can do is I can keep doing this by specifying what x is. So in a function plot, it actually is taking an x value and it's actually trying to come up with a y coordinate that goes with it. In this case, you'll notice it came up with two. But what we'd like to do is plot this. Well, there's another command called zeros that doesn't write this as y equals or y equals. It actually just lists the values. So, for example, if I go to menu and I go down to algebra and I go down to this command called zeros, um, I can do this. The only difference is I can't use an equation here. I have to give an expression that's assumed to be what you're setting equal to zero. So if I go up and grab this, what I'm really going to do is I'm going to move this 2xy to the other side, in a sense subtracting it from both sides. So I'm going to put minus 2xy because this is the expression we now want to be equal to zero. Okay, so I'm going to put that there and I'm going to say I want to find the value of y. And now if I say such that x equals, say, 1, it's going to give me a 1. If I say x equals 0.5, it's going to give me the two values, but it gives it to me as a list. And what's different is that because it's giving me as a list, when I go to plot it, it will actually take these numerical values and plot it and stitch it together as two different things. What I will not need, though, on the graphing page is I'm not going to need this such that x equals thing because it assumes when you're plotting, it picks a value of x, it finds a value of y. It picks another value of x, finds another value of y, and it lights up the pixels accordingly. So the plotting mechanism assumes that it's fixing a value of x each time. So watch what happens. I'm going to grab this command. I'm going to copy it. Control C. I'm going to go over to the graphing window. And now in the function plot, I'm just going to paste this thing in. So what's going to happen is as, as the machine marches across from left to right, it's going to pick values for x that are going to correspond to the desired pixels. It's going to find the y output and then plot them. So in this case, I can do this, and boom, I see it show up. It's an implicit plot, and if I zoom in a little bit, you'll actually notice that it's stitched together in two pieces. There's this piece, and then there's this piece. So this is, they call it F11 and F12 for the two different solutions that come out each time. So this is one way to kind of trick the calculator into doing an implicit plot for me, even though it doesn't really do it. We're actually creating a function plot that has two pieces of it, a top piece and a bottom piece in this case. So this is one way to do an implicit plot on the Inspire.